Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're out here with the uh, Hubson X4, the, I believe it is the 502E. So we've got nine satellites. We've already done the compass dance. We got the lake in front of us. So uh, tell you what, let's go flying. Let's let's arm this bad boy and let's uh, bring it up in the air a little bit. And uh, let's do a quick walk around and take a look. So, always amazes me how this little guy can hover so well and, and does so well. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the video. So we have the video running on it. And, uh, let's sort of take it up. And, uh, first off, i got to take my glasses off so I can take it up and out. But, we'll take it out over the lake. Fly with the seagulls a little bit. And, uh, what the hey, let's get some, uh, distance out there on this bad boy. So, oh, there it is out there, so, so let's yaw back around a little bit, get some video, see which way I'm pushing it. So I think that's still going out. It's going down. Like let's uh, let's bring it back in a little bit. And take it down this way, and then let's bring it around so it's coming this way, and bring it around so it's going that way. Boy, you see that? It hit a real thermal draft at that point. So bring it. So it's flying back around, back. I think it's flying back towards us. I just have a hard time to and from. So usually, what I do is, um, you know, in sailboats, you do what's called tack to go upwind, and that's basically what I do. If I lose orientation, I, I tack it uh, with the yaw. So you can kind of see me doing this. So I can kind of see it'll, it'll make a, a zigzag pattern. And I can see which, I can understand from that zigzag pattern which way it's pointing. Ah, so let's pan it around a little bit. And, uh... Bring it back towards me a little bit. One of the things I have to get is a little timer like Quadcopter 101 has so I can uh, see how long it's up there. The one thing with the, with the very short base of this, it spins very quickly. Watch. So I'm spinning it now. In Norbert, you're probably getting a headache watching it spin, but it um, does turn very quick. So you see me down here on the beach. I'm the one flying it. So let's take let's take it out down the beach. Just checking everything. We have we have a few homeless people or partying people, one or the other. So just kind of tacking it backwards. So again, just kind of practicing the sticking. You can see this little guy is fighting a little bit of a breeze, so I got a full stick and that's all it's, uh, I'm getting out of it. I want to take a look here, a quick look, I got to put my glasses back on to see the batteries. The batteries, I got two, so I'm not too bad just as of yet. So let's bring it back down a little bit. So in case it falls, it's not falling that far. So let's take it out a little bit just at a lower altitude and see how it does. So I'm flying this a little bit lower now. 
I just love this copter. Now I got it. I'm full sticking it. You have to watch banking it too hard at this lower altitude because, as you see, watch. I'm going to bank it. See it drop, then jump back up. You have to really be aware of that as you're sticking this thing. I think that's a form of for, formal pilot term, sticking, isn't it? I don't know. If not, I just made it up. So now I bring it back towards me. So it's coming in on me. And I'm going to save the video out just to be on the safe side. I'll restart the video again. Let's go up take a look at the kite-eating tree a little bit. So that's the elk kite eating tree, so kind of get some interesting images of that. A lot of birds out here today. So I think we're probably getting pretty long in its battery life, so I think it's probably about time we bring it down and then land it. So let's uh, bring it back around this way. You can see my junk box of parts, all my copters in that box. Let's see, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to do as good with this one to get it back on that cover. Let's see. This one's being buffeted pretty hard, so let's let's do another quick quick take a quick look at it. Again, the battery life is getting pretty good. Uh, like I say, I think initially I had a problem with the batteries on it. The original battery that came with it, I think, was bad, and that's why it kept falling out of the air. Because since I've gotten the new batteries, I really haven't had the issue. So uh, we'll back it up. And let's see if we can get it. Ah, pretty close, pretty close. So we'll disarm the copter. I think we'll disarm it. All right, so we're disarmed. We've had another good flight of the Hubson X-4. I'll tell you guys, this is just a really great throw-and-go travel copter. I can't say enough good things about it. You know, GPS for around 100 bucks. Um, like I say, I've 3D printed lakes to put on it. And, uh, yeah, I need to save out the video. Thank you for reminding me. And so, um, to get it up off there a little bit, but again, really a great quadcopter for the money. I can't complain. Have a lot, have had a lot of good flights. I really get some good distance. The video leaves a little bit to be desired, but again, for for basically a hundred bucks, you really can't go wrong. So, anyways, um, hey, give this one a thumbs up, and subscribe is going to be coming up over there in a minute. So, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, please helps the channel out, and hey. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.